Hey everyone, I'm Sean Smith and this is Salty Jobs. Hi everyone, we're here today at Blue Water Books and Charts and Talamar Yachting. Two marine businesses that work so closely together, they actually share a facility. When you're cruising the open waters, it's very important that you have the proper tools to travel around safely. Today we're going to be working with the charts, radar, and navigational equipment that help captains get anywhere they need to go. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Hey everyone, we're here with Mark Tyson, who is Vice President at Telemar Yachting. Mark, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. What is in front of me right now? Yeah man, this is pretty amazing. This is our integrated glass bridge system that we put on board boats that we work with. It's basically a giant iPad. Right there, you're looking at a radar. To get that working, we're going to have to hit the transmit button, which means that the open radar then spins. Is that this TX up here? Correct. Alright, and then just click. And there's your radar. Wow, very cool. Do you always know you're going to be the radar guy? What put you on this path? I was born in uh, ex-Yugoslavia, Croatia, where I was uh, sailing on a small boat. I developed a passion for the sea. And from there on out, we moved to uh, Germany, where my father's from, and then ended up in the United States. So what brought you over to the U.S.? Uh, basketball, believe it or not. Really? Uh, yeah. I decided to, after basketball year in the U.S. to go back to the sea. And I went to Mass Maritime Academy. And today, I'm basically marrying my um, education for Mass Maritime with technology. We're here in Blue Water Books and Charts. I'm assuming they have something to do with this whole process. Actually, let me take you over to Eric and he'll uh, show you how to uh, load the charts. We're with Eric Spire, a super yacht coordinator for Blue Water Books and Charts. Eric, how do we get started? We ask the big question, where are we going? How do we figure that out? Generally, the captain or crew tells us. In this case, we know that we're gonna go get chart coverage for the entire Bahamas, specifically the Northern Bahamas. I think we should probably go look at pulling chart 398 and 3910. With so many charts to choose from, it's important to know exactly what you're looking for before getting started. Now that we've pulled their paper charts, we want to make sure that we get their electronic charts for their computers on the bridge. So if we're going to pull the electronic charts anyways, why did we do the paper charts also? To be really safe, you want to make sure you have multiple forms of navigation. And frankly, electronics can fail sometimes. Batteries can die. Better safe than sorry. Absolutely. So in this case, we again want to select charts for the Bahamas. So we're going to select this Caribbean chart. And as you can see, it, it has coverage for the entire Bahamas and all of the Caribbean. Let's go install it on the boat. The vessel we'll be working on today is a 158-foot custom motor yacht that is here in South Florida being refitted. This is really cool. We're in the bridge of one of their client vessels. Guys, remind everyone what we're doing here. Well, first, Sean, we're going to go ahead and install that chart that we picked out, so they're going to have full coverage for the Bahamas installed on their chart plotter on the bridge. And then it's going to follow up with a radar alignment. We're going to do some heading tuning, and we're going to go up on the mast and check our VSAT equipment for communications at sea. First, we plugged in the USB to update the digital charts. Then Lewis explained what to do for a radar timing alignment. After that, it was up to the mast to disengage the antenna and update the satellite communication equipment. Hey everyone, we're here with Mike Tyson, who is Vice President at Telemar Yachting. Mark, ah, I said Mike, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Deep breath, don't try not to rush. You know. It's just because you're such a big presence. You got the, <laughs> the Mike Tyson. Yeah. Oh man, what is that? I'm not a basketball player here. Alright, let me teach you. So what, is that all in the wrist? All in the wrist. I give up. Somebody, somebody help this guy out here. 